Hello, welcome to another episode of Mike's Car Reviews. Today I've got the all new 2018 Porsche Cayman. Lovely car, very fast, makes a wicked noise in the exhaust. A um, couple of dislikes, the cockpit, it's a bit dated. They haven't moved with times. Um, other manufacturers are giving you a digital cockpit as standard. This car, it's got the old fashioned cockpit uh, with an analog dial. But anyway, let's get on with the review, see what this car can do, see what noises it makes, and hopefully we don't get pulled over today. Okay, so the car, lovely drive, solid. Around the corners, you can literally take a corner, depending on how sharp it is, but you, you, could, probably, you could take a corner pretty fast, all right? Not encouraging you guys to go fast, but you can. Um, very, very nice chassis. The grip is amazing. Um, not to 60, under five seconds. The exhaust pops like crazy. It's nuts. concerns I had about the car today was um, I was trying to stop someone pulled out in front of me I was only doing around 40 miles an hour um, and when this person pulled out I had to put my foot on the brake uh, I literally sold my pants because I thought I was gonna go in the back of the car um, think being a Porsche you'd think you'd stop like that um, I, I know how these do <laughs> but yeah kind of scared me a bit so just a heads up, if you are considering getting a Porsche, uh, go for the carbon ceramic discs, man. Uh, brakes, they're a lot better. Um, yeah, you'll definitely stop. Okay, so they've got a touchscreen entertainment system. All well and good. Uh, but the buttons to get you back to the home page and like to press maps and stuff, it's a bit old. It's not that great. Um, not a big fan of it. They could have done a better effort with the buttons, I suppose, because man, it's, it looks a bit cheap enough. To be fair, they've got a nice new smart SID digital system here, but down below there, it just looks not that nice. One of the cool features on the Porsche is the cup holders. German engineering at its best. I do like that. Very solid components. Good quality materials throughout. Couple of features I don't like about the Porsche. Driving position is a bit tight. So if you've got a big ass, you're a bit chubby like me. It's a bit tight, man. The seats are a bit tight. You need to be five foot eight and weigh 70 kilos to be comfortable in this car. Uh, not for someone who weighs 90 kilos and got an ass like a baboon. A baboon, a hippo. Anyway, yeah, driving position's not that great on a vehicle. Um, found it a bit un uncomfortable. And I haven't become one with the drive in a sense. There's a lot of horsepower in this vehicle and you feel quite scared to put your foot down. Um, but when you're driving, for example, Aldi's um, the RS models and the S5s, man, they're put together so well. I'm not just saying it because I love Aldi's, but they are. They're bloody good cars. I've been around the block when it comes to vehicles, and Aldi's are another thing. 